Enterprise Architect Models contains a range of contents including architecture models, processes, requirements, use cases, high-level designs, low-level designs and much more. Let's take a closer look at how use case models are seen in Enterprise Architect. Analyzing the details of EA use case shows a range of comprehensive details including the standard metadata and the requirements, constraints, scenarios, scenario steps and much more. The business process models also has a range of details. Taking a closer look at how an activity's details are displayed, it shows all the tagged values that are prescribed by the BPM and standards. EA also displays a range of other information including the ones pertaining to standard UML elements such as behavior, requirements, constraints, files, links, etc. Now let's take a closer look at how a comprehensive EA model could be converted into a pro-elaborate web portal in four quick steps. Step 1 is to select the packages from EA model that you would like to expose to the end users. You could pick a whole package and all its sub-contents or you could pick individual sub-packages. This gives you a great control on what contents needs to be displayed. Access permissions gives you another great control on what to be visible and what to hide. Once the list of packages to be included in the project are selected, you can determine what an end user will see by setting granular access permissions. Prolaborate lets you control the visibility for individual users at an artifact level. They will be taken to the live EA diagram and each item could be selected and its properties be viewed. And this is what we defined using the MDG technology or the modeling language builder. The user also gets to see the discussions that are associated to an artifact in the diagram. And just by clicking on it, he gets transferred to the discussions portal, which is more like the social media platform where you could tag users, you could reference other EA artifacts, you could set the priority of this comment, you could set whether it's open or closed and just post a comment. The user also gets to see active reviews set up in that diagram and will be able to see the review status quickly. The user could see the high and low priority comments that are open in the review and he or she could also express their approval or disapproval with a comment. He could participate in the review with the discussion and those discussions will be recorded as review based comments. The end user 
can also share a URL to an EA element or an EA diagram. And as simple as copying this EA link and pasting it on any web browser, an anonymous user or a guest will be able to see the details of the shared artifact and be also able to assess its traceability and description and various other details that we wanted to show. Another form of inviting more people to collaborate on the diagrams is by just saying invite collaborators and be able to type in the email of the new users whom we would like to invite. And those users get notified with the email we have transformed the content-rich technical enterprise architect model into a modern collaborative portal that fosters engagement from wider stakeholders.